name's Dave Heath and I've written music uh, for the last ooh, 30 years, 40 years. And um, I've also been a flute player since when I was very young. I'm very lucky to have known Albert Cooper who was like an incredible kind of Zen master. And so his flutes are, for me, they're sort of like um, just as good as they can get. And uh, they're very strong, but they're really, really vibrant. And I played this one, which is number 156, which uh, in relation to the Mozart thing is quite funny because uh, Mozart was born in 1756 and I was born in 1956. So kind of like, this was definitely always meant for me, I think. We had quite a few lip plays on it and did a lot of experimenting. And uh, it was how I wanted it, which is like set up so it's kind of very vibrant and um, it's not kind of the mellow alto flute at all, the way I've got it. And I played um, lots of sessions on it. I played Man From Uncle on it, all the kind of crazy bass flute and that. And uh, played the Sting on it and done lots of orchestral things. And I've uh, wrote my own concerto and I played it on that as well. So that's been around. But then I had this idea. Um, I started playing up the road in this, he in this homeless shelter because I wanted to sort of I, I sort of became obsessed with the idea of not just playing with classical musicians, but just playing with all sorts of people on the street. And I wanted to sort of set off on a kind of tour of friendliness right, right around the world. But I thought, well, I can't take a Cooper, you know, turn up in the middle of Africa kind of like with that on the street. And I was looking for something that was like, had the same kind of vibe, and, um, but something that, you know, I could, I could take all over the shop. And I was at a flute convention like, a few months ago and I bumped into Gareth and he said, hey, have you tried this? And, um, and I hadn't, and this is the Amadeus flute. And I just picked it up and it just went like the clappers. Um, And I, I just literally went on and I thought, oh, that'd be great. And the Amadeus thing had a big link with me, had, so it just felt like totally the right thing. So um, I've got one of them and I'm going to take, this is kind of like a kind of um, spiritual brother to this one, if you see what I mean. And um, so I'm going to take that off all around the place. I'm going to China next month and I'm doing this um, live art kind of installation thing where I've written my own music as a backing tape and playing that over the top. And then that's supposed to be going on in South America and all over the shop. Meanwhile, I want to try and go to Australia and play with some Aboriginals and Africa. And so the Amadeus flute's going to go all over the place, so I have to see um, how it copes in the middle of the desert. But, you know, um, feels very strong, feels really good. Yeah, so that's me. So I'm going to um, report back to Gareth on uh, my various travels and he's going to put up where I've got to and what I'm doing and I'm going to have people um, hopefully filming bits of it and you can see how the Amadeus bears up in all these different places. So good on you Haynes.